I'm going to look at uh, some uh, of the main ways that uh, we often see graphs uh, misrepresented. So trying to misrep misrepresent data. So what uh, we're trying to show here with some of these graphs is that trying to create like a false impression, right? So that's, uh, these graphs are not necessarily incorrect, uh, but we do want to make sure that uh, if, if we're doing something like this, that we're creating a false impression. So this is something, say, that uh, advertisers do sometimes or people that are trying to influence you uh, to their point of view might want to try to create a false impression. So they'll sort of misrepresent the data a little bit. So over here, you know, this was like a poll of, uh, of uh, people's favorite sports and they were given a choice of three sports here. So this graph here is kind of like the true representation of it. Okay. Now somebody wanted to show that um, you know, that there wasn't a, you know, a, a big difference here uh, between them. So what they did is that they exaggerated the scale here, okay? So instead of going up by twos or by ones, really, uh, they, they skipped by twos. And, you know, I had that labeled every four there. So what that did there is it kind of, the, the difference between these bars doesn't seem as great anymore, okay? So this kind of gives you the idea that there's not much of a difference, not much of a preference. Okay. Uh, whereas on the next one, here you can see that uh, they didn't start at zero, right? So what that does, it sort of exaggerates it the other way. Uh, you, it looks like there's a huge difference and that not very many people like football at all. So that, that gave me a, a greater difference, a great difference in preference. Okay, so uh, all depending on the scale you use or whether you start at zero, and this is a big one here that you see a lot and not starting at zero, um, you can create that false impression, all depending on the false impression you're trying to create. Uh, another thing that you see often here is, to create a false impression is to use larger symbols like th like this one here. Okay, so if we're following the key, uh, Jason actually had received the the less the lesser number of valentines, and and uh, Pat received the most. Uh, but uh, again, probably Jason created this to try to show people that he uh, that he received more valentines than he actually did. Same thing here. You see uh, girls is bolded and the width of our bar is, uh, is, is a lot bigger than the other one. So they're trying to create the impression that more girls uh, participated uh, in cross country than boys. But if we read uh, the grid, we see, we see the difference there, 12 and eight in each one. So again, trying to create that false impression uh, by bolding letters like this or uh, by um, changing the size of objects in, in the graphs. We can do the same sort of thing in a circle graph if we use uh, a different font here, uh, if we bold it, or say if we took that sector out and you know kind of separated it out, uh, that would be a, a, another way of doing that. Uh, but those are all different ways that uh, that we do that. We know here that that you know more people uh, like pizza, but somebody was trying to mislead you to misrepresent the data to, to show that uh, tacos had a higher percentage here. So um, all those are ways to uh, misrepresent data. Um, hopefully you won't get fooled. You'll uh, you'll read those uh, graphs uh, accurately. Uh, but if you ever have to create the false impression, those are ways that you would do it. Okay, thanks for listening.